Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm very pleased to brief you on the workshop background under agenda item two. At the opening, you have heard from the Secretary General that ISA has a mandate by the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea to promote and encourage the conduct of marine scientific research in the area and coordinate and disseminate the result of such research and analysis when available. Likewise, the protection of marine environment from harmful effects which may arise from activities in the area is at the core of ISA mandates. Building on these two important pillars, this workshop is being convened by ISA Secretariat in collaboration with the China Ocean Mineral Resources Research and Development Association, COMLA, and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. As also highlighted by the Secretary General, ISA developed an action plan for marine scientific research in support of the UN Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development, which is currently being considered by the Assembly. This action plan has been prepared within the context of ISA's strategic plan 2019 to 2023, and its high-level action plan, which were adopted by the Assembly in its 21st and 25th session, respectively. The ISC Action Plan for Marine Scientific Research identifies six strategic research priorities. Before I bring you to the details of each strategic priorities, let me highlight you some keywords regarding this MSL Action Plan, which include scientific knowledge, technological innovation, environmental protection, capacity development, partnership, and blue economy. These thematic priorities are embedded in Appendix 1 of the Action Plan document that was circulated to you. In particular, the third and fourth column in the form of short and long-term outputs in relation to the respective strategic actions and high-level actions described in the first and second columns. While I will not go into the details of the metrics in the Appendix 1 of the document, I will only highlight the key ideas behind these six strategic research priorities in the following slide. ISS work on environmental management is directly linked to very fundamental scientific activities in the deep ocean through contractors' exploration activities, which include research crews, sampling, lab analysis, and submission of annual reports and digital data to ISC Secretariat. With regard to this strategic priority on advancing scientific knowledge of deep sea ecosystem and biodiversity, the focus is on understanding who lives where and what it does and how it interacts with human disturbances within the context of ISA. In scientific terms, they can be described as biodiversity, biogeography, or habitat mapping, ecosystem functioning and services, and connectivity and resilience. ISA is facilitating collaborative efforts among different contractors and scientific communities to standardize and innovate methodologies for deep sea biodiversity assessment. It is very critical to establish a common set of scientific reference for species identification and description in support of our collective efforts for biodiversity conservation and environmental protection in the area. To facilitate the implementation under this strategic research priority, ISA has convened in September this year an international workshop on deep sea standardization in collaboration with the government of Korea, in which many of you have participated also. 
As you know very well, advancement in deep sea research heavily relies on technological development and innovation. ISA in this regard collaborates with ISA members, contractors, industries, and scientific communities, as well as international bodies such as OECD to ensure that technology innovation can be promoted in a way to enable realizing strategic vision for balancing resource development and environmental protection. ISC Secretary is currently planning to organize an expert workshop on this subject together with various experts around the world. Almost 40 years of continuous scientific research undertaken during exploration for deep sea minerals, both before and after the entry into force of the convention, represent a major contribution to our collective knowledge of the deep sea environment. Under the exploration contract, contractors are obliged to gather environmental baseline data. Contractors also establish a program to monitor and report the effects of its exploration activities, including any testing of equipment on the marine environment against such environmental baseline. This data will be the primary input into an environmental impact assessment process as part of the application for a future exploitation contract. ISA is uh, facilitating building close linkages between the existing efforts by contractors during their exploration phase with the technology in innovation in deep sea research by other industrial sectors and relevant scientific communities so that our scientific understanding of marine ecosystem and predictability on the pop, uh, potential impacts of activities in the area can be expanded in temporal and special scales. Then where are all these scientific data on deep sea environment collected by contractors? ISA systematically standardizes, collects, and centralizes all data and information which are produced and submitted by contractors through their exploration activities. This global data repository of ISA, dubbed as deep data, contains information relating to mineral resources as well as biological, physical, and geochemical parameters of the marine ecosystem from the seafloor to the ocean surface. Since its public launching in July 2019, last year, environmental data is open for public access and use through ISA website. The public access of deep data will further enhance our collective ability to protect the marine environment in the area in particular through its contribution to ISS work on regional environmental management plans and ISS collaboration with other international bodies, such as Ocean Biogeography Information System of IOC UNESCO and many others. To facilitate the implementation under this strategic research priority, ISA has convened in September an international workshop on deep data focusing on data management strategy together with legal and technical commission members, contractors, and general participants, including many scientists like many of you. ISC's efforts on marine scientific research are directly linked to ISC's mandates on capacity development, which is designed and implemented for the benefit of developing states and technologically less developed states based on the identified capacity development need. ISA provides multidisciplinary learning opportunities through various existing capacity building programs being offered by contractors and ISA secretariat in collaboration with various ISA members and partners. In particular, the newly established ISA China Joint Training and Research Center will play a key role in delivering training and opportunities tailored into various subjects on marine scientific research. ISA Secretary General has prepared a programmatic approach for capacity development, which is also being considered by assembly. 
With this background, I'm happy to invite my colleague, Dr. Luciana Genio, to introduce you the workshop objectives and expected output. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Tune. I'd like to start by welcoming you all to this workshop. I hope everyone is having a very good day, whether it is just starting or almost ending. I'm now pleased to introduce the scope, objectives, and expected outcomes for this three-day meeting. As I start, I would like to recall the mission given to ISA by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea to regulate activities in the area that occupies more than 50% of the ocean floor, extending beyond the outer limits of the continental shelves. In this workshop, we will dedicate our discussions to the scientific knowledge being generated and the collaborative efforts needed to advance the understanding of mid-ocean reach ecosystems, focusing on the Indian Ocean. Currently, there are four contracts for exploration of polymetallic sulfides located in the central, southwest and southeast Indian regions. During this workshop, we'll have the opportunity to hear the progress made and scientific achievements obtained by ISA contractors and other scientific experts in this region. As highlighted in the opening remarks and previous presentation, one of the scientific research priorities identified by the ISA in support of the United Nations decade is to advance the understanding of deep sea ecosystems, including biodiversity and ecosystem functioning. Understanding how species and communities are distributed and interact with marine environment requires using holistic scientific approaches that integrate results from multi and interdisciplinary studies. These are the building blocks of the environmental baseline work that ISA contractors are undertaking along with the resource exploration activities. In this context, this workshop aims to identify coherent, collaborative and scientifically robust ways to improve the state of knowledge of biodiversity. In particular, the goals set out for this meeting include providing an overview of current knowledge and information and identify priority areas for scientific research. It also aims to identify best practices, including technological innovations to address knowledge gaps through standardization of methodologies, protocols and procedures for environmental monitoring and data sharing. Finally, it aims to explore ways for collaboration among and between contractors and the scientific community to support long-term observations and monitoring of either thermal vent ecosystems in the Indian Ocean. The expected outcomes of this workshop include enhanced collaboration among contractors and scientific groups through joint and complementary initiatives, such as, for example, cruises and other research programs, as well as to discuss further opportunities for capacity development. This meeting will also allow the, to strengthen the scientific foundation to support the implementation of ISA's mandate for environmental protection and to reinforce ISA's contribution to the implementation of scientific initiatives aligned with the strategic plan, high level action plan and action plan in support of United Nations decades of ocean sciences for sustainable development. As per the proposed program for this workshop, agenda items three and four will start with theme presentations, followed by question and answers. We'll ask you to use the chat function to indicate when you wish to request the floor to ask questions. The same procedure will be used during the plenary discussions moderated by co-chairs. 
On the last day, we'll have a panel discussion followed also by question and answers. Thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to your contributions. <laughs>